This is Susan. Age, seven and a half. Her dreams and plans reach beyond time and space to worlds clearly visible only to her. If things were equal, odds are she would find her way. But things are not. Susan has nephrosis. Her physician has started her on a modification of hydrocortisone. We will call this fictitious drug steroid 47. Steroid 47, a modification of hydrocortisone. That's all Susan has to go on for the moment. Chances are Susan will never know very much about the pharmaceutical industry. And the industry very little, if anything, about her. And yet there is a serious connection here. Steroid 47 is a life-sustaining drug. I'm not in. You never heard of me until we get that extra hormone order out of here. This scene is neither typical nor new to industry-wide experience. A sudden increase in orders has been received. The hormone steroid 47 is in accelerated demand. And there are deadlines. Well, tell them we'll speed up production all we can. Tom, I've told you before, all the equipment is committed. 3 p.m. tomorrow. That's the word from the front office, no matter what. No matter what. Of course, he doesn't mean that literally. Everyone knows that. Well, let's say almost everyone. This is the lab where raw material for steroid 47 is first examined for identification and assay. How's it going? Fine. Identification test checks out. And the assay? It takes time. We haven't finished that yet. Well, then forget about it. There won't be any time. What? No assay? It's too late. I've got to get this out on the floor. Look, give me an hour and a half. An hour? Can't do. Has there ever been a time when this didn't assay correctly? No. Well, then let them check it out in the granulation or the finished tablet or both. I've got ten people to answer to, and they've all got ulcers. Raw material for steroid 47. Identification? Okay. Assay? Assumed correct. Right now, there are other things to think about. The batch sheet calls for 100,000 tablets at a strength of 2.5 milligrams per tablet. That means that the master formula for 100,000 tablets should read 250 grams of steroid 47. But it just happens that the photocopy of the batch sheet has smudges and spots on it. This one spot could easily be misread as a decimal point. Hey, Dick, you tell me, what's that say? 25.0. That's what I thought it said. Thanks. Any time. Unlikely? Is it? It's happened. In this case, it would have made simple sense to check the master formula and ask the supervisor to recalculate.